Hello and welcome to the Blender Barbax channel. Today we are going to generate and import the city view that you see on the screen. This is a downtown Chicago area that I imported. You can use it this process to import any city in the world wherever you like. So this is imported from specifically Google Earth. Previously, I have done a tutorial on how to import city scale view 3D models from Google Maps. So today we are going to use the same process, but instead we are going to use Google Earth as an input to import the city scale view buildings into Blender. So this is the result that you expect to get following this tutorial. So to start with, uh, you need Blender. So specifically, you need the Blender 3.5 version. This is a version that worked for me. So you can try other versions, but I recommend specifically to use the Blender 3.5 version for this process. So you go to the official Blender website and then uh, go to the download section. Then here, click on previous versions and then you can click on download any Blender button. Here you have a list of pre previous Blender versions. Scroll down to the Blender 3.5 version and then click on it and it will open the various options available. So choose your appropriate operating system application and choose the appropriate one. So I recommend using the .zip file instead of installing it again. So you download the zip file and then you can extract it and then run just uh, run the .exe file without the need of installing it this method will save you valuable hard disk space next up is a render talk in this case uh, i recommend using the render talk version of 1.26 go to other builds scroll down and choose the version 1.6 this is a version that uh, was appropriate with a blender uh, version that i found and you can click on installer and install it since i have already installed it i want to do it again but just click on installer and then follow through the usual installation process then thirdly you need the maps models import importer add-on this add-on is developed by Eli Michel. Don't forget to give him credit. And uh, in this version, you can use the 0.62 version, which is the latest one. Go to here, the latest, you can click on it. It will take you to the version 0.62. So this is just like another Blender add-on. Scroll down if you want to download it. And then here you have the zip file. And you can download this zip file and use it as uh, just as another Blender add-on as you usually use. And another thing here is make sure that you copy this line of code and save it on a notepad or something appropriate because we are going to close the Google Chrome uh, application shortly in order to proceed to the next step. So make sure you save this. In addition, I'll be I'll put this in the description section. You can find it also there. So I saved mine on a notepad and make sure that the, the path for the 
Google for the Chrome.exe file is appropriate based on your computer uh, installation uh, path. So make sure that this path is correct. Okay, now we can proceed to the next step. So next up is we can uh, use the uh, Chrome to adjust the parameters. So go to your Chrome installation folder. Usually it is in the C program files. Google Chrome in application. Make sure that this path is appropriate for your respective PC. And here you can find the Chrome application with a Chrome sign. So here, what you can do is right click on it and then create shortcuts. Then it will ask you to place it on desktop. Then you can click on yes. Then on, uh, you can find the shortcuts on the desktop here. So next, uh, at this step, make sure that you have closed all the Google Chrome application. Otherwise, the process won't work. Right click on it, properties, go to shortcuts and then target. Here, select everything in this box and delete it. Next, uh, open your notepad and copy your uh, saved code. Make sure the path is correct, copy it. And then you can uh, go back to the uh, dialog box and then paste it on target and then click on apply and ok now the icon has changed as you can see sometimes it changes to black also the next thing is to open this one you can double click it so when you click it a white window appears at the same time small windows stating gpu with a pid a number appears so don't click ok yet there there are some extra step that we need to do but uh, make sure you memorize this number or you can just leave it as a reference because we will use this uh, number in the next step so next open your render doc so if you are just uh, installing it for the first time, if you click file, you won't see inject into process. Mine, I've already set up the process. That's why I see if you don't see it, go to tools and then the settings, there is enable process injection. It says and restart required. So I enabled already mine and I already restarted it. So make sure you tick this box and then restart your render doc this is critical for the overall operation so once you are done with that go to file and inject into process then this window appears now it's time to type the pid number that we saved in this case 12304 is mine your number might be different go back and type the number and it will the search result will appear above so you can select it here if it doesn't appear here you can refresh by clicking the refresh button and then it will appear above so select it and then click on inject all right now we are done with this now we can go back to the our pid number and now it's time to click on ok when you click ok a new Chrome window will appear with some kind of numbers appearing above. 
so if you are on this step the, which means you are on the right track now we can go to google search for googlers you can open googlers online i opened mine for chicago downtown area you can use any area that you want so i i removed the labels as you can see and i want to capture this uh, view of the city it's a wide view but uh, still it can capture such views so i'll uh, proceed with this one let me delete the previous part that i have done now uh, one thing you needed to make sure is use four seconds this has uh, resulted in a better result click on capture go to your google earth and then left click and drag it like this shaking it for a few seconds then you see the result here double click it and some kind of result appears on the left side so you can save this file save capture as and you can name it whatever you want and save this file as .rdc file so once you saved uh, the rdc file you can go to your blender software make sure you use 3.5 and go to edit preferences and make sure that you have the maps models importer uh, add-on activated so mine is already checked so i don't need to do it so next it's time to import the image go to file then import then google uh, rdc google maps capture rdc file then search for the location that you saved your render doc file and you can open it click on import it will take some time to load wait for it and then the result will be will be displayed here so it's uh, done now as you can see it, uh, it has imported the render doc file you can see the image now now it's in blender workspace so this process has managed to capture quite a wide area of the city almost all of all of downtown of chicago area is now imported as you can see and part of the lakeside view the beach side also appears to be captured and it's uh, it looks uh, quite nice actually and all the textures are also imported so if you look closely uh, the resolution it might not be the one that you expect but this is good enough for general purpose applications so in case that you want a high resolution uh, you need to uh, zoom in on a specific building or buildings group of buildings and then you can repeat the same process uh, like uh, we did and then you can get a higher resolution image but your area size will be small if your idea is to capture the whole downtown area the whole city like this you can still manage to do so but uh, you you'll, you'll compromise some resolution data as well so uh, it's just uh, you need to find the right balance of the area of coverage that you want in the resolution you can practice the same step again and again this is a solid view you can see you can edit these meshes for further post-processing uh, works so in summary this is uh, the steps these are the steps that are used to import google earth image 3d image from Google Earth to Blender, you can use this workflow anytime you want. So I hope you liked today's tips and tutorials.
you liked the tutorial please make sure to like and subscribe the channel because I'll be making more blender tutorials and I'll see you next time with another blender tutorial thank you for watching take care